Hi guys, Gentematix here. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Yeah, I know I'm kinda late, but if you look at Google, I'm not late. I'm actually on time. So, yeah. Merry Christmas 2023. Damn bro, time flies. I still remember doing the New Year's 2023 video. And it's already Christmas 2023 and next it's going to be New Year's 2024. Yeah. Alright, so in this Christmas special, today I am going to show you guys how I make Christmas trees. Before I show you guys how to make it, I want to tell you guys about how rain and snow mix together. Alright, so here are the items that we are going to be using to make this Christmas tree. Over here, we have the things that we really need to make this, which are spruce saplings and bone meal. We need these to uh, just make the tree. Like, you need to at least have four of them to make this because as you guys see in my videos, I make the Christmas tree like big, so it couldn't be just one spruce sapling, it has to be four. So yeah, there we go. And if you guys don't like the tree that you guys uh, bone meal, you can simply just destroy it with your fist or axe if you're in survival. But if you want to make things quick, here are the things you need to use like the flint and steel to burn the tree and TNT to explode it yeah that's why I put this stuff in the depending on situation part because besides the flint and steel and TNT if you guys are going to be making this in a place with no grass like maybe in a stone mountain or something you need to bring dirt so you can plant the tree itself and if you guys want snow, then here's some snow blocks and carved pumpkin so you can make uh, snow golems. Because if you just use like top snow, it might melt. And if you're just using regular snow, well, you need to replace. Yeah, that kind of wastes time. Alright, so um, besides those points, we need to decorate this tree. Which is why these items exist. The top row are the items you need to decorate the body part, I guess, from top to middle of the tree. And the bottom row is for the top part of the tree. For the decoration using terracotta here, um, the color's optional. You can remove these green ones because, well, the tree is green. And for like, the top part of the Christmas tree if you just want the star you can just use glowstone you don't need to use anything else from here but if you guys want to use them for decoration just use it all right dirt planting is done that should um, turn to grass and now let's start decorating the tree so for the decoration I usually put like red on top just because it's in the first uh, slot, yeah, and then yellow on bottom, and then just continue with all the different colors. All right, tree decorated with the terracotta. Um, so in here, because there's two types of green and there's space, I used both of them with this pattern because if I just fill the whole thing, it'll look weird, and for the darker green one I only added in the corners because well again this might look weird and here we have the blue terracotta the light blue one and the blue one I used the same pattern because I used the same pattern yeah so those are the presents I um, messed around with the shapes these are just uh, two by two squares this is kind of like a, a cone and this one, it's a square, um, 3 by 2 square, but I also added like this thing. And here we have just 
one block presence. Yeah. Wait, you know what? Just because I can, I'm gonna be adding white terracotta here. Besides because I can, it still kind of feels empty. All right, now that feels more um, more filled. Yeah. Now we are going to be decorating the top part of the Christmas tree and the glowstone. Let's plant this first. So the glowstone. Oh my gosh, it's like the glowstone is for the star of the tree. Here's a tip for you guys. Don't fill in the star. It's just wasteful. Alright, so that's the star and the sea lanterns. I'm going to be adding them here so the star looks even better, I guess. Uh, maybe I can make the star bigger because it kind of looks... Wait, but that means I'm filling... Well, the star! <laughs> the star, um, if you guys want to make it even bigger, remember to um, take these glowstones back because, again, it's wasting. Alright, that's the star for you guys. Um, does that look like a star? I don't think so. Well, it's Minecraft! And yeah, that's the star for you guys. Now, the item frames, if you guys want to know what's that for, it's for small decorations on the top of the Christmas tree. Just because that's a star, why can't I use a nether star? Yeah, and bells, because jingle bells, and yeah, now just because I have these, why not I add them? And yeah, that's my Christmas tree for you guys. Wait, let me uh, look at it from the angle here, because if I look from that angle, um, I can see all these other trees and it just looks weird. So, um, yeah, and if you guys want to add snow golems here because you want more snow, then do it. Yeah, and you know what, for the sake of um, decorating the Christmas tree, I'm gonna add the spiral thing, but this time with lanterns. And yeah. Christmas tree complete! Wait... Uh, why aren't the snow golems making snow? I think it's because of mob leafing. Yeah! Oh, there we go! Now they make snow! So, um, guys, remember to turn on mob leafing if you're in a creative world, because if you don't, well, uh... Snow golems aren't just gonna make snow. And yeah! Christmas tree... is... completed! Wait, why do they take damage when it's raining? Alright guys, remember, um, snow golems take damage when raining. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, yeah, just remember that and you guys will be good. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys are having a holly jolly Christmas. And I'll see you guys soon or later or maybe at 2024. Bye now.